Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the local security authority protection is off on Windows 11 in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to use the Windows Security app. Now to do this press the Windows button then simply type Windows Security or Security and then select Windows Security as an application from the search results. Now in here on the left pane click on device security and then on the right side click on core isolation details. And the last thing you have to do is enable the toggle under the local security authority protection section. Afterwards just restart your PC to apply the changes. Moving on, another useful solution is to use Registry Editor. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type Reg Edit and select Registry Editor from the search results. Now in here, what you have to do is navigate to the following location. H key Local Machine, then Expand System, afterwards Expand Current Control Set, next Expand Control, then simply scroll down until you locate the LSA key. Now click on it and make sure to locate on the right side the run as PPL D word. Double click on it and in the value data make sure to change it instead of 0 to 1. Now press on OK to save the changes, restart your computer and then check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to do this via the local group policy editor. To do this press the Windows button then simply type policy or group policy editor and then select edit group policy from the search result. Now in here what you have to do is navigate to the following location. Computer configuration, then expand administrative templates, afterwards expand system and lastly just expand local security authority. Just click on it. And in here on the right side you have an option that says configures LSASS to run as a protected process. Double click on it to open up its properties window. And the last thing you have to do in here is tick the box next to enabled. Now click on apply and OK to save the changes. Afterwards make sure to restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And that was it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course if this video helped you make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality fixes. Thanks for watching and I wish you a great day.